Excuse me, little dog. Mm. All right, guys. It is a cool, gloomy Sunday afternoon here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, it is Sunday afternoon, September 10th, 2023. So I finally had all of the vacation getaway tourists leave me with some peace and quiet so I can find some privacy to uh, change my vacation super host hat to that of my Doomer hat. Where are all my Doomer hats, by the way? So, uh, it is your lucky day, assuming I remember to turn on the record button. You're actually probably going to get ready to get two Chronicles of the Collapse because we finally have some good news on the planet from Richard Heinberg. Uh, but I'm just going to make that a separate rant. So I found both of these videos <coughs> in this week's edition of uh, Common Dreams. Common Dreams. And I guess this is Common Nightmares. And, you know, I'm, I'm having, uh, with Doomer Chick withdrawals, you know, uh, Sandy and Jennifer did not have their show Friday night uh, because Sandy's Wi-Fi collapsed. And uh, so I thought maybe when Sandy did her excellent rant this morning over at Environmental Coffee House. That was a good one, Sandy. I, I mean, we even had some trannies showing up, which I never thought I would hear out of Sandy's mouth. But unless I missed it, uh, darling, I did not hear any mention of this, which is almost getting to turn into a broken record rant and we're going to go down to antarctica just you know i read these things and i, and I think they're talking about some study that i'd already read about and then i keep finding out that more and more and more studies are coming out of antarctica so this is just the latest update uh from common dreams which was pretty much ripped from the uh guardian as Common Dreams likes to do. Okay, take it away. Common Dreams, Jessica Corbett. She is their Doomer chick in residence at Common Dreams. Absolutely devastating news. Antarctica warming quicker than models projected. Imagine that something happening quicker than expected or projected. The new study's lead author said, quote, it is extremely concerning to see such significant warming in Antarctica beyond natural variability. All right. Antarctica is warming about double the rate of the rest of the planet and far more quickly than widely cited models projected according to a study published Thursday, I'm assuming they mean three days ago, in the journal Nature Climate Change that swiftly alarmed scientists around the world. This is Bill McGuire, climate scientist and university, the College London professor emeritus. Take it away, Bill. Quote, this is absolutely devastating news. First, one has to wonder if perhaps we have already passed the West Antarctic collapse tipping point. Second, it begs the question, are other climate model projections underestimating the speed of climate breakdown? Hmm, imagine that. The, the very notion 
that other climate model projections are underestimating the speed of climate breakdown. And I don't know why they're limiting this to climate models. It, it, it's every, every uh, breakdown model on this planet is being underestimated as we go into full collapse mode. All right, back to Jessica. <clears throat> Polar amplification, a phenomenon that causes higher temperatures near the poles, is well established in the Arctic, with a study published last year showing that the northern region is warming nearly four times faster than the global average. However, it has been less clearly identified across Antarctica, where scientists must contend with limited available temperature records and natural climate variability. Due to the lack of Antarctic weather stations covering more than the past six decades, the four researchers behind the new study, who come from various European institutions, analyzed 78 ice cores to determine temperature variability over 1,000 years across seven regions. The team found, quote, direct evidence of Antarctic polar amplification at regional and continental scales, close quote, which major climate models do not show. The study states that, quote, Failing to consider the feedback loops causing polar amplification could lead to an underestimation of the magnitude of anthropogenic warming and its consequences in Antarctica. Hmm, do you think so? Lead author Matthew Casado of the Laboratory of Science and Climate of the environment in France told The Guardian, which most of this article is ripped from, that, quote, it is extremely concerning to see such significant warning in Antarctica beyond natural variability, close quote. Kyle Clem, a scientist at Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, who is not involved with the new research, but has studied record high temperatures at one South Pole weather station, said that, quote, the implications of this study are of particular importance for considering future changes in <clears throat> Antarctic sea ice, terrestrial and marine ecosystems, and potentially even sea level rise. As far as sea level rise, ocean warming is already melting protective ice shelves in West Antarctica and causing the West Antarctic sheet to retreat, close quote. Clem also highlighted the potential impact on coastal ice shelves that protect glaciers, explaining that, quote, this has already been seen on the Antarctic Peninsula in recent decades, and it could become a more widespread occurrence around Antarctica sooner than anticipated. In a more strongly warming Antarctic climate, close quote. <clears throat> The research from Casado's team was published the very same day, meaning Thursday, as a new study about the West Antarctic ice sheet published in the cryosphere. This is lead author Ron Jaris of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact in Germany. Quote, with more and more ice being lost in Antarctica over the last years, concerns have been raised whether a tipping point has already been crossed and an irreversible long-term collapse of the West Antarctic ice sheet has already been initiated. 
the results of our studies deliver two messages. First, while a number of glaciers in Antarctica are re retreating at the moment, hmm, while that is happening, we find no indication. Is this, uh, is this Michael Mann or Ron Juris? I thought they had slipped into Michael Mann gear. Despite the fact, you know, that they're seeing glaciers retreating, <clears throat> despite that, we find no indication of irreversible self-reinforcing retreat yet, which is reassuring, reset. However, our calculations also clearly indicate that an onset of an irreversible retreat of the ice sheet in West Antarctica is possible if the current state of the climate is sustained. Well, it's not going to be sustained. Uh, it's going right on up through the roof. The new studies follow findings throughout this year that have elevated fears about the impact of human-caused global heating on Antarctica from researchers revealing in February that Antarctic sea ice coverage hit its lowest January level ever recorded to a May study that showed a 30% slowdown in vital deep water currents around the continent. Research from last month warned it is, quote, virtually certain that future Antarctic extreme events will be more pronounced than those observed to date, close quote, as humanity continues to burn fossil fuels. Another August study found that when Antarctic sea ice melted last year, it likely killed over 9,000 emperor penguin chicks. Both Reese and Casado's studies also cap off a week of alarming global data about the climate emergency. International researchers confirmed that greenhouse gas concentrations, global sea level, and ocean heat content broke records last year. Scientists also announced that this summer of deadly heat is the hottest on record. So some good straight ahead doomer porn. So, uh, but if anybody acts like we never hear good news uh, on Collapse Chronicles, we're going to let uh, my hero Richard Heinberg come back in the second video to talk about some good news on the planet, but uh, I don't want to dilute the Doomer porn, so I'm going to come back with that one in one minute. Hold on. Bye, guys. All right. Well, that was nice and quick.